Uh, this is a communication port. Here you can see there is a IC voltage input. Here bridge rectifier diode module. The black component you see here. IGBT transistor. But here there are two. And the high voltage diodes, I hope you can see them here. And the high frequency transformer. Current sense transformer for sensing current so that you can determine the power. A gate driver transformer here. And this wire is ground. A resonant capacitors. So I hope you can see here. These two pins in the middle, they are input for AC voltage. And this one in a light is a negative. And this one left is a positive. So using my digital multimeter, so I'm going to show you how to check it. Normally for a bridge rectifier, current goes out from this positive, positive terminal. So goes out from this positive terminal to the load and from load to the negative terminal. Negative terminal is like an input. So you see this is a probe so i hope you can see uh, we have two probes positive and negative this black one is negative this red one is positive i hope you can see here this is for vr voltage and resistor and this is common so to measure this bridge rectifier so this negative has to be here in the middle here to the input of AC current. Here in the middle and through the negative here. You should read 474. It means voltage Sorry, it means dials are in forward bias. They are forward biased. So you can check here. And also, if I move this probe to this one from here to here, it should read the same reading. And I, I'm going to reverse this probes, this lead in the center, and this to the negative. It should read inf infinite. You see, you should read infinity because these diodes are in reverse bias. They are reversed. That's why it is reading infinity here. So another thing we are going to do, we are going to check here between inner center and this positive terminal. Because current goes out from positive. So this lead flow we are going to attach it to this positive. Uh, sorry, this probe is going to be attached in the middle here to the input of AC voltage. And this one, black one, is going to be attached to the positive. So here it should read 470 or 82. And I'm going also to shift this probe from here to here because in the center there are two terminals for AC input. If I reverse this probes, it will indicate infinity because diodes are in reverse, are reverse biased. So this bridge diode is okay. These two IGBTs here. Most of the cases, you have to check these IGBTs. Most inventor failures 
or issues result from these IGBTs when they are short or open. So here we can check if they are not short using this digital multimeter. So I hope here you can see, here there is a gate, emitter, and collector here. And also here there is gate, emitter, and collector here. So now we are going to check on the conductivity between this collector and emitter. Collector and emitter. If they are shorted out, you should hear the continuity or indicate zero ohm. Here you see it is showing 430. It has antiparallel diode. IGBT has antiparallel diode. Let me reverse this clause. And you see now it is showing infinity. You can, can also check uh, resistivity between gate and emitter. Yeah. It should indicate 24, around 20 to 24 ohms. And one IGBT is okay. This one in the left. And let, let, let us also check in. Check this one. And that diode is showing three. 431 and you can check also get between gate and emitter 24 these IGBTs are good so another thing to check is to check these high voltage diodes so in my last video, I've showed you how you can check this high voltage diodes. They are not checked the same way in like a normal diodes because this, these diodes use high voltage, are supposed to withstand with high voltage, to work with high voltage, sorry. For this high voltage uh, diodes, you have to use a battery, 9 volt battery. So here you can check like a voltage drop. You, you see that if the diode is in a reverse, it block the voltage. If it is in forward, it wait the voltage to pass. Yeah, from there you can measure if the voltage is there or not. This diode is short-circuited. You will find that it will not block the voltage, whether in reverse or in forward. It will not block the voltage. Also for, for, for short circuit, you can check it using this digital multimeter. If it beeps, means this diode is short. Check communication port. Check short circuit on this port. You see it has a six pins. Two they are supply, 15 volt, and four they are communication. TX and LX, transmitter and receiver. Two here, transmitter. Another two pins for receiver. Receiving signal from main control or transmitting signal to main board or main control. So here you use digital multimeter to check short circuit. If you find there is a short circuit between two pins, means this board is defective. 
But here, according to the measurement, this board is okay. So after checking this inventor board, if it doesn't work out, move on the second step to check inventor magnetron. Otherwise, replace inventor magnetron if it doesn't work after checking this inventor board. So I hope you have seen how you can check this inventor board for LG inventor microwave oven. So if you are new here on this channel, make sure you subscribe, share, and like. See you in my next videos.